So, how can you play back Adobe Audition at variable speeds? If you're a voiceover artist, quite often you get long scripts, and when you're recording, monitoring yourself carefully, of course, for errors, you make a mistake, and you usually leave a quiet gap of about five seconds to understand where you slipped up, have a slip of water. And that means that later in edit, you can look at the waveforms, you can identify where to repair, and you don't need to check the rest before sending the recording to the client. But sometimes you get this feeling that you forgot to leave a gap at certain places, and it means you need to play back the whole recording to see if there are any mistakes in there. I mean, have you really edited out that bit where the cat poured at the booth door, you know, or that bit where you swore at the client, huh? Are you absolutely sure you cut that out? But you really don't want to play through the whole recording in real time. But quite often on playback, the default double speed key, L, when you push playback, is just too fast. Under the arcades are many shops and the characteristic used vocal record stores where you can find rarities or resell your collections. And if you right click underneath the controls for fast forward, you don't see any option for anything apart from two times faster, three times faster, and so on, which is just useless to hear anything clearly. Now, 1.5 times speed would be great, but how can you set this up? It's not there, is it? Yes, it is. Let me show you. In the Windows version of Adobe Audition, it's Edit, then Preferences, and then you go down to Playback and Recording. Click there, and then you'll find here Shuttle Speed, JKL. L is the thing that makes it go fast forward, J fast backwards, and we have the shuttle speed at normal speed at 1. So you think, well, that's fine, isn't it? Well, no, look, if you go down here, you can see it in increments of even have 0.1 if you like, but uh, I find the most useful is simply half speed, 0.5. Click that, click OK, and now when you go back here, Push the space bar to start playing, and then push the L key. The beautiful Piazza Colombo, one of the largest and busiest squares in Genoa, is an important crossroads. And there we are. It's easier to listen to now. But you're still saving time. By the way, if you want to hear back audio at the same pitch to make it easier on the ear, you can't do this in Adobe Audition, even though many people have been asking them for years, including myself. But I understand why they don't want to do this. It does distort the sound and takes extra processing power. But if you go into their video editing program, Adobe Premiere Pro, this feature is available there, where you can play it double speed on the old L key again, and uh, it's at the same pitch, but it's a bit distorted. I hope you found that useful. Please check out our full video-based course on Adobe Audition at voiceovermasterclass.com. And uh, you should see the link around this video somewhere. And you can check out the free chapters right now. Have a great day in the voice booth.